more than 3 million weekday subway riders. That's now a regular thing. The NYPD and Mayor Adams have promised more targeted police patrols and more social service crews. Their subway safety plan is a month old. Ever since I've been riding the train a lot more often, I've noticed uh, a lot more homeless. I haven't really seen too many cops down there. The MTA Transit Committee on Monday had its first monthly meeting with some data from the new plan. The NYPD Transit Chief gave a presentation on how it's going. And we've implemented a system of review the next day where the patrol supervisor on the second and the morning after has to go back to that location and review the situation. Two shifts a day, seven days a week, transit officers and social service teams are in the system. They report a 73% increase in major felonies, mainly robberies, and a 96% increase in arrests. Quality of life issues are in focus. Last month, officers wrote hundreds of tickets for smoking, drinking, blocking a seat, and theft of services or turnstile jumping. Will more tickets lead to improvements within the system? Commissioner David Jones suggests violators be required to watch a public safety video. I'm just trying to figure out ways so we sort of start to sort out uh, people who are doing this out of economic problems, people who are just flaunting. The NYPD says a few hundred people have chosen to go to shelter when offered, and new efforts have begun this month. The goal is always, when you're dealing with the homeless, always support, service, shelter. The New York Civil Liberties Union is monitoring what's going on. We always have a crisis. We have a policing deployment response. We don't have the follow-up with the social services and the connection to services that people need. The NYPD transit chief says while uh, some crimes uh, are up compared to last year, they are down compared to pre-pandemic times when there were a lot more riders. The focus continues underground. In Williamsburg, Greg Mocker, PIX11 News.